um maybe a lot of you are better knowledgeable than i am um when we first decided on a very exciting keynote speaker i had to do a little bit of research a little bit of stalking um and i was blown away uh by what i discovered by this next person um she is truly incredible and i'm not even going to send it because you would listen to her and you will work it out for yourself um ladies and gentlemen our keynote speaker is in fact an internationally renowned keynote speaker she is a kick-ass author um, she is a tech influencer a content creator she's also recognized by thinkers 360 as one of the top 50 uh, global thought leaders ladies and gentlemen you see i go i have a high in the back because that is the situation yes. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Nikki Africans have a very different version of bird. <laughs> Sometimes I see someone in my inbox say, hi, you can nerd. I'm like, <laughs> my name is right there. You come in and like, hi, Vicky, Vicky nerd. Who here thought my name was Vicky? Oh, great. That's interesting. That's the first time. Some people really like, they'll have my book in their hand. They're calling me, hey, Vicky. I'm like, come on, I'm not Vicky. My best friend's name is Vicky, and no one has ever called her Nikki. <laughs> but somehow, I get called Vicky all the time. So anyway, my name is Nikki Bird. I am from Cameroon, but I didn't arrive last month. Yeah. <laughs> I always want to say where I come from and get that out of the way before someone asks me, why do you speak like that? Well, I don't speak like a South African, if you know what I mean. So. <laughs> so I'm from Cameroon. I've been living and doing life in South Africa for almost 15 years. So actually 14 years to be exact. So South Africa is like my second home. I do go to different parts of Africa, but this is home for me. So I'm so glad to be here. The last time I was in Durban was actually in 2019. Can you imagine? That's been a long time. COVID happened. The last time I was here was during the... Um, of tech conference where i was uh, one of the speakers anyone here attended that conference yeah. golf tech yeah. oh yeah. okay someone someone yeah. did <laughs> yes that was my last time in Georgia. then covid happened and everyone has been on lockdown so i'm really excited to be here in the flesh you know so that we don't have to do can you hear me can you see my screen we know how the drill goes right <laughs> so i'm really so glad to be here and we are looking forward to having an amazing time. It's really all about disrupting the status quo, right? So uh, I understand that the theme of, the, of this event is digital disruption, and it is a topic that I'm particularly very excited about. I enjoy talking about disruption. I enjoy talking about innovation and how the technology is forcing us to actually do things differently. And so today I'm going to be talking or rather asking a question, which side of disruption are you sitting on? Because there's no neutral ground, okay? There are some people that are hoping they can bury their, their heads in the sand and wake up the next morning and this whole disruption thing is over, or we're no longer talking about change and all these things that are happening in the world, or we're no longer talking about a pandemic, it's not going to happen. You are either this way, that way, or the other way. There is no neutral ground. And so before we continue, I want to just quickly define on what digital disruption really is all about. And it's a radical change to an existing industry or market due to technological innovation. And this doesn't mean that it is one particular industry that's being disrupted, 
because no industry is immune to disruption. Everyone is being disrupted. Every industry is being disrupted, and I'm sure we can all attest to that, right? Mm -hmm. Everyone, technology, technological disruption is affecting every industry. And the key factor that defines digital disruption is really about change. If we maintain the status quo, then we cannot move forward or make any progress as far as this era concerns. So it's really about change. And disruptive change usually occurs because of 